Hey guys, this is Jared here with Miller Armament. I uh, just wanted to talk about our new uh, patented uh, magnetic range holster. It's a holster that's uh, made out of a uh, one-eighth thick uh, cowhide leather with ballistic nylon and nylon wrapping sewn around uh, all the edges and uh, seared so that uh, there's no frying. Uh, but uh, I've got a lot of questions about this product lately. Um, it's just gone up for sale at uh, several local gun stores as well as online. And uh, a lot of the questions that people ask me is, what kind of guns can this holster hold? Um, so as you can see in front of me here, I've got uh, a small assortment of uh, different uh, pistols that I keep in my range box. So I'll just do a quick little video about uh, which ones hold on there the best and why. And uh, I can tell you though that every single one of these guns does stay on this holster. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and start with one of my favorites, which is the 1911. Uh, of course, all the guns on this table have been safety checked. But uh, 1911, steel frame, heavy. This is a officer's model, so it's not quite as heavy as a full steel or a full length one. Uh, but a full length one holds just as easily. So as you can see, uh, the Almost no way that this is gonna fall off running, jumping, anything. I mean, it's it, it's pretty sturdy on here. Don't mind my phone, but uh, of course, you know, drawing from a magnetic wrench holster, all you do is just slide up. Easier said than done when you're not actually holding or wearing it. So, like you can see, the 1911 uh, goes up on it just fine. And then a lot of people question, well, what about uh, polymer guns, like the Glocks, or in this case, I've got an XDS um, with the Viridian C5L laser. This is the 45 version. Um, so right now, again, all these are empty, but they hold the same fully loaded as well. Um, so, but the thing about polymer guns is most of them are still have a lot of metal in them. So same reason you can't take it to the airport without being detected. It sticks to the holster just fine. Again, it's not coming off. That's <laughs> so. That's one polymer gun down. So, of course, you know, as far as polymers go, you can't get much more polymer than a FN57. This is, I think, the most polymer-coated gun on the market. So, again, it is uh, safe and clear but it sticks on there just fine now this one won't stick quite as well as say an all steel frame because it is uh, polymer coated but it sticks on there well enough that you can walk around with it um, and not really have to worry about it falling off or anything like that again for the range wouldn't suggest jumping jacks or backflips but it holds just fine so let's try move these out of the way here and of course, uh, guns that don't hold on to it quite as well, but still hold, uh, would be like uh, a Mark III or Mark II or Mark I, the Rugers. Uh, this is one of my many range pistols I use for uh, rimfire competitions. And it holds on. It's not going to fall off. But because it is a round barrel, there's not as much uh, holding on to the holster of the gun but again your gun's not gonna fall off sorry about the camera angles here room's kind of a mess right now and of course you got your, your range guns and stuff like that a lot of them are uh, aluminum or scandium to lighten the weight uh, this one here is a uh, tenfoli and it's not going nowhere And the last one that I had in my box is just a little uh, Walther P22. Again, this is mostly polymer coated. I uh, saw that it rolled a little bit there. That's just because the uh, slide is rounded. So, but for actually wearing it, it stays just fine. Um, another question that I get a lot is what about revolvers? Revolvers, same thing. They uh, hold on here just fine. Um, 
especially like the scandiums. A lot of people don't think that the scandium or aluminum frame revolvers uh, hold onto it, but uh, in most cases, the uh, barrel is steel and the cylinder is still steel. So as long as you've got actual metal, then you're fine. Now with uh, stuff like speed shooting and stuff like that for your competitions, uh, the rule is that you have to have a trigger guard on your uh, holster. So instead of using this for speed shooting, what I use this for is on my offside, I go ahead and use it as a magazine carrier. So you go ahead and just grab your magazine, especially on so when you have the competition that you have to start with one magazine in the gun and you need to take an extra magazine with you. All you do is slap one magazine into the gun. The next one just goes right onto the holster. So this works extremely well for that. I'll wear two or three of these at a time. And you just grab your magazines, just throw them up there. And you know, Ruger magazines are just fine on it. Um, this is a, about 90% aluminum magazine, but it holds just fine. And even stuff like uh, these little 5.7 magazines, which are 99.9% .9 polymer, you've still got uh, steel feed lips and a steel spring. So it's not the sturdiest, but again, it sticks on there just fine. But let's talk about the holster a little bit more. This is our, uh, as I said, our new patented uh, magnetic wrench holster. We're coming out with different colors and uh, watch your fingers. Uh, different threads uh, for stitching, so you can see how they're kind of stitched with the orange and black two-tone. Make sure to stitch around the magnets. These have uh, two very powerful neodymium magnets. Each one's capable of folding up to 45 pounds. There's two of them in tandem. Um, Leather is punched out of a solid sheet of uh, cowhide. And I think that's about it for uh, the holster. If you guys have any questions, like I said, these are now up for sale. Um, doing a lot of sales on eBay. Also doing a lot of sales with our local uh, gun shops in the area. Uh, hopefully get them up on uh, uh, Brownells as well as uh, Gun Broker here very soon. Um, Amazon is another place that we're going to be selling them. So if anybody's interested in buying, um, yeah, you can shoot me a message in the description. I'll have a, a email address uh, to buy them. Uh, our website's going to be going up here shortly. Uh, it's currently under construction to get a new cart system in uh, to offer all the different colors and bindings that we'll be showing pictures of in this uh, video. But, you know, if anybody has any questions, feel free to message me or just post a comment in the uh, section below. But, uh, thank you guys very much for viewing this video and I uh, hope you enjoy the holsters.